Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Richie and this is Parkinson. Right guys, when I got here yesterday I was, I was absolutely exhausted carrying all the big bags about. I'm currently staying in the Ding Dang area. That's just opposite, on the opposite side of the river from Chinatown. And today we are going to be travelling around all the sites in Bangkok. As this is my first time in the city of Bangkok. I've just tried to go off the road a little bit, just down near the river. As you can see, I'm just trying to keep away from all the traffic. And we are going to first Wat Arun, the Thai pronunciation is the Temple of Dawn. So, right, guys, we'll catch up soon. I'll get off this main road and let's see what we can find today. We are now in Wat Arun Temple. Now, guys, if I was going to take you on every temple around Thailand, there's literally thousands. And probably in Bangkok, you're talking in the hundreds. I've walked here from Ding Dang, where my apartment is. Uh, it took me 40 minutes and I walked past six temples. Now I picked out a few just because of their uniqueness and how beautiful they are. I mean, all the, all the temples in Thailand have their own unique, uniqueness and their own amazing different pattern everywhere. But I've looked through the reviews and I've just picked out a few that I just want to have a look around. And this is one of them. Now please excuse the noise because everywhere you go in Thailand, there's someone with a grinder or a drill or something they love it once you get some electronic in their hands they're away now i've found myself some bells and i'm like a big kid can't resist it oh hi hang on what's this like fred flintstone <laughs> right guys, let's go have a look inside here. Now if we look at how intricate everything is, the time that's going to this is absolutely crazy. Now this is in the Bangkok Yai area of Bangkok and it was built in the reign of King Rama II and King Rama III. I do believe it is from the 17th century but I think one of the spirals was built in the 18th century now I have been looking through Wikipedia so that's how I know wow I'm going to turn around and get a double look at this guys He's a jolly chap. Nice smile on his face. Well, hello there. I don't get the old Instagram pics in. Wow, these are impressive. I hope the GoPro is doing some, some justice. So it really is impressive to look at. Beautiful location, look at this about right on the river. Right, guys, I've got the Wikipedia in front of me, so I can just talk you through it properly. The Wat Arun, the Thai pronunciation, as I've already said, is the Temple of Dawn. The 
is situated on the bank of the Chow Praya River and the temple derives its name from the Hindu god Aruna. The temple has existed since at least the 17th century and its distinctive spire has existed since at least the 17th... Oh sorry, the distinctive spire was built in the 19th century during the reigns of King Rama II and Rama III. Just to give you a better view of the spire that was built in the 19th century. It doesn't say how tall it is, but it's really tall. Now the entrance fee guys is a hundred baht. That's for both tourists and locals. Either way I don't mind paying a tourist price. It's all for renovations and everything like that and places look really nice for us. Who do we have here? Move the jolly chap. Over here we've got a better view of the, the tall spire. The grounds are absolutely amazing, really beautiful. Some crazy little statues. Look at this chap here. Not looking as friendly as the other ones. No, I always thought it's rude to stick your tongue out. <laughs> yeah. Big, really big for for the uh, hundred baht entry fee. Two pound fifty, probably about three dollars. Oh, look at these chaps here. Are they supposed to look amusing? I'll have to look into whatever these are. The guardians or the. No, no description. If you have a look at the descriptions, guys, and things, if there's not any English translation, you've got Google Translate. We're now in a different part of the temple, or the temple grounds, shall I say. Massive, really big place. In this courtyard, we've got loads of uh, ornamental. Concrete statues. And when I say loads, I mean hundreds. And then inside, you have the gold Buddha statues. And underneath, there's thousands and thousands of names and pictures of people. I wonder if uh, ashes of people being cremated. I've no idea. If any of you guys have any of the answers to any of these questions, please feel free to comment. And again, as always, comment on where you're watching and where you're coming from, where you're watching from. If there's any way you'd like me to see. Or for me to go and show you around. If it's very popular in the comments, yeah. I will surely go. We can eat, stand there with it. Now on the way to the temple, next door, is the Royal Thai Navy. And I thought it was the temple. So I went to walk in and I was quickly met by three guards with guns, very angry, told me to get the hell out of there right now and that I did. <laughs> if there's a wrong way to go I'll find it. Yes guys, so this is Water Run. Cameras there watching people. Now watching me watching you. Right guys, let's move on. Let's go and see what else we can find in Bangkok. Like I said, this is not going to be about towels, it's about temples. We're going to go see some street food. 
whatever else we can find in Bangkok. Hey guys, just leaving our water run, walking down the side of the road, and we see what I believe is the Grand Temple. I'm not over sure about that, but again, please leave a comment, let me know. Yeah, another big place just walking by. It'll give me a quick chance to let you know what went on yesterday. Coming from the um, from the airport to my apartment in Din Ding Dang, Din Dian. <laughs> I hope I get that right. Uh, we are, are stuck, went in the airport, went to the bottom floor to Super Rich to get some money changed over. That's generally the best money exchange on the ground floor where the taxis are, and have, uh, the, the, the floor below where the taxis are and what have you. You can get food and that in there as well. And that's where you get the BTS. Uh, there's a few different transportation systems, I'm not too sure if it's BTS. The City Line, well I'm not too sure to be honest. But I went on from the airport to Makarat and then from Makarat to Chinatown and then I was just that exhausted when I was in Chinatown I got a taxi for a hundred baht over the river to Ding Dang and that was me for the day exhausted got something to eat and went to bed jet lag kicking right in right guys we're heading back up towards the road and we are heading towards Icon Siam, Icon Siam, I think. The shopping mall, and it's got a waterfall inside. And then hopefully we'll move on to Lumpini Park and finish off there. I want to go and see them big lizards. Then get up to a few metres long. Catch up soon. It's on the main road here, but it's just to give you some idea of the amount of temples. I've walked past two on the way back. Oh, on the way to Icon Siam, it's a two mile walk and now I'm on the Sundet Chow Prai River and there's one on one side of the river that's a big one again if any of you guys know what it's called please let me know see King Rammer over there not too sure which one and on the other side of the road, we have another temple. Temples everywhere. Alright guys, check this out. This is how I felt yesterday, after all the trouble. Raging. Raging. This. This is how I feel today, wondering about Bangkok. A million dollars. <laughs> right guys, there's Icon Siam coming up. Let's go and check it out. We're here guys, Icon Siam. Just been up a little walk around here. Oh, I'm pointing the wrong way there. Oh no, I'm not. There you go. Impressive. We just walked past the residencies of the Mandarin Oriental Bangkok. Not to be quick round here because rich people don't like being bothered. And the Magnolia's waterfront residences, Icon Siam. Very impressive and very expensive. All right, let's go and check out the mall. When you go in shopping mall, I don't know why they have the metal detector things. Because they go off like crazy. No one cares. So why have one? There's a guy there with it as well. Very pointless. Just another one of them jobs in Thailand, what isn't needed, but somebody's taking it up. Good on them. Right, let's check this first out. Oh, they 
Yeah, look. Food. Oh man, I'm starving. This might not have been a good idea coming over here. Frozen bot lobster. The spiny lobster. Is that cord for there's not much meat on it? Oh, talking about meat. He doesn't look too happy. <laughs> Spicy barbecue. I'll get it anyone. Hundred bucks. Eighty buck fruit juice. You must pay a premium to be in here. So do you do? No wonder it's next door to the Hilton in the Mandarin. Seafood Suki, 150 baht, it's just short of £4. Probably about $5, just over $5. Fried squid, fried crab, 200 baht. Straight tanner, 12 euros, uh, $12.50. About oh. another unhappy uh, visit to our visit to our concierge. He's seen better days. A pack of grilled pork, 160 baht. Four English pounds, British pounds. <laughs> Don't be annoying people. So that'll be about five dollars, just over. Sort of getting to just with the uh, with the exchange rates now. Everything's new. Oh, they're nice. And coconut desserts to die for. Fifty baht. I won't keep on screaming now up the air uh, exchanges, you sort of get the idea, don't you? There's some funky slippers up my side. Let's go and see where this takes us. I'm absolutely starving, but I'm not eating in here. It's today, do. I'm a penny pincher. Guys, we're sort of running out of uh, battery power, so I'll, uh, I'll keep flicking on and off when I see something interesting. At the minute, it's all just tat. Japanese lifestyle shop, aka expensive. <laughs> I think, so I've been led to believe there's a waterfall on the sixth floor. So uh, let's see if we can go for a swim. Well, you've got it all in here. Tyson, Porsche, Versace, Boss. Apple Star. Very nice. On the sixth floor by Concierge. And this bad boy. Predator. Must have a new movie coming out soon. That is my dear precious. I'm the sort of weird person I'd have that in my house. If I had a house, I haven't got a house anymore. I've moved. Right, it'd be interesting to go up to the cinema, guys. This is what's on Transformers, No Hard Feelings, Spider Man, The Flash. 
I'll be honest, I think a lot of the, uh, the movies that have been coming out lately are a bit trash right? Might just because I'm getting on. The oldies are always the best. Yeah, super impressive over here. Van Gogh alive. The Van Gogh experience. We're up on the sixth or the seventh floor, I think. The icon I can't see am. I don't know if you can see that. The waterfall. It's alright. No flash. It's all going on in the circle with some lights at the top of it, to be honest. But we've got a good view of the city here. Amongst rather large doors, aren't they? That's a giant's office. How big that is? Towards me. I'm six foot. Wow, this is looking close to the skyline. Yep, seventh floor. Come on. The Napoli, Napoli Terrace, 7th floor, I can see them. Music, 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 why everywhere you go is music, copyrighted up to this. Hopefully we don't have talking over that guys, you really can't hear it. I don't want to get this copyrighted. Take a look at this. Oh, that is impressive. And you don't even have to pay. Happy days. Bustling with the many tourist uh, tourist trips, restaurants and what have you. Not too badly priced to make a fly down. When I say I'm a penny pinch, I, I like doing things and all that. I just don't like overrated prices. Don't like paying for stupid things. And paying for stupid things, there's a lot of that here. That is very impressive. There's the Mandarin again. I think next door that's the uh, Hilton Millennium. I like that building over there. Looks like a like a like someone who's really bad at Tetris. That's like me playing Tetris. That'd be holes everywhere like that building. Well, there's every beautiful skyline, you're always going to have the poor parts, unfortunately. Yeah, that's mighty impressive, guys. Right, let's go and check out Lumpini Park and go and see if we can catch some lizards. I'm afraid Lumpini Park's going to have to get safe for tomorrow guys. I've walked eight and a half miles already and I thought it was a bit close to the icon see them. It's not, it's two, another two and a half miles and by the time you walk around there then walk back. I'm not one for getting public transport, BTSs and all that. I love to walk, I love to get about. And it's not a tight thing because it's really cheap. But you see more when you're on the ground, you see more when you're looking about. You're just getting BTSs everywhere, transport public transport you're not saying no so yeah guys Lumpini Park tomorrow and plenty more so please tune in if you like what you've been seeing please hit the like button if you want to follow me on my journey please subscribe 
and hit the notifications bell and get notified when my next vlog gets up, which will be tomorrow. Thanks guys, have a nice day.